Incredible Overwatch 2 play sees Reinhardt go flying to kill Mercy. One player incredibly defies gravity as Reinhardt in Overwatch 2, flying through the air to kill Mercy due to April Fool's playlist rule changes. Players of Blizzard's Overwatch 2 have been treated to new in-game rules thanks to an April Fool's update, with one player sharing a clip in which Reinhardt seemingly defies gravity during his charge attack, flying through the air to kill an airborne enemy Mercy. While the rule changes aren't permanent, they have provided fans of Overwatch 2 plenty of enjoyment, with new limited time mechanics being added to characters, as well as temporary googly eyes. Although the update only lasts a day, it's a part of a yearly tradition in which Blizzard celebrates April Fools by editing various in-game settings. The April Fools update for Overwatch 2 changes various parts of the game, both in gameplay and in cosmetics. Characters have had their eyes replaced with comical googly eyes in Overwatch 2, and their in-game abilities have been altered in unique ways. For instance, Genji has been changed to where he has a chance to heal himself when requesting healing in reference to an online joke. Reinhardt is one of the characters who've had a more extreme makeover for the holiday, as his charge now grants flight which players can control by hitting the crouch or jump buttons. Reinhardt's newfound flight ability is quite apparent in an online post, in which one can see the player soar through the streets to hit a flying enemy player. The enemy in question is using Mercy, a healer with the ability to fly high above the map using wings to avoid taking damage from incoming fire. Although Reinhardt is usually locked to the ground, the Overwatch April 2nd Fool's Rule Shift granted this particular user the ability to fly just as high as Mercy and eliminate her in an incredible play. Some Overwatch 2 characters weren't provided any extreme ability changes during the yearly update, like Cassidy, who was only granted a regenerating stamina which replaced the usual cooldown for his dodge roll, along with a reduced reload count from 6 to 2 bullets. Other heroes like Reinhardt or Bridget were granted massively overhauled movement, wildly changing the flow of the game's first-person combat and opening the door to otherwise impossible plays. Overwatch 2's April Fool's changes are a yearly breath of fresh air into the franchise, providing fans of the hero shooter titles with a day full of humorous and interesting changes to the usually competitive multiplayer gameplay. Although some of these changes are hardly noticeable, unlike the aforementioned Reinhardt flying charge, others are a considerable improvement to some of Overwatch 2's more flawed mechanics. While Blizzard is already undoing its rule changes for the shooter, some fans of the title might actually want some of the updates to remain in place. Overwatch 2's PvE mode deserves its own trophy list. Overwatch 2 fans are continuing to wait for the release of the game's PvE content, with Blizzard keeping quiet about the mode for a long time now. With a 2023 release promised, though, information could start to appear sooner rather than later, and many have high hopes for the content. Based on what has been shown by Blizzard thus far, PvE will be a deep mode that fans can play for hours, and because of that it deserves its own trophy list. The current Overwatch 2 trophy list is essentially just a new version of the one from the original game, with a few trophies altered to accommodate things like battle pass levels instead of account levels. However, with the list having two trophies for every hero, it is already full, and new heroes that are added to the game bring extra trophies through bonus sets that are not required for the Platinum. Though some PvE packs could also be added like this, it would be better to give the PvE mode a completely separate trophy list. What a PvE-only trophy list for Overwatch 2 could accomplish. One of the things that makes Overwatch 2's trophy list special is that each achievement is not just a trophy, but doubles as a challenge for an in-game reward. Players will unlock a spray with all the trophies they pick up, with the cute and pixel sprays for each hero becoming a big hit with fans. By introducing more co-op trophies, more sprays, or other rewards, tied to achievements could be added. This would give fans a whole lot more to chase in PvE, and with Overwatch 2's co-op mode needing good rewards, this could be an excellent starting point. Beyond more trophy-based rewards to hunt for, more fans of the Overwatch franchise can finally get their hands on the Platinum Trophy. With the current list being entirely multiplayer-focused, without boosting it can be extremely hard to unlock every trophy. Players need at least some skill with every hero, and a lot of luck to get the right circumstances for achievements like Floor is Lava. For many, this makes the Platinum impossible to get, even if they are a huge fan of the series. A separate, co-op-only list would change that, presenting a Platinum that is much less luck-based to chase after. That's all for today's video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.